So yesterday, uh, the good news was yesterday, KO Gaming got approved. KO Gaming got approved for advertisements. Therefore, I enabled advertisements on the entire channel. You know, new partner network linked to the channel. Everything good. Everything working good with KO Gaming. But DSP Gaming still lingering. All right, what is going on, everybody? What is up? Hello, hello, and welcome. How are you today? What's up? DSP here, live on the stream. Today is Sunday, April 29th, 2017. We are coming to the very end of April, folks, and we're going to end it with a bang. We are going to end April with a bang, okay? Okay. We've got a good stream today. We've got a good stream lined up for you tomorrow. Something very unique. Um, and then even, you know, May we're starting off pretty strongly here. Which we'll, we'll talk about all of this uh, in a moment, okay? I actually have two, not one, but two big positive announcements for everyone this morning. And I mean big. These are good announcements that I think you guys will uh, definitely enjoy. Uh, because they are going to mean some very positive stuff for you, the viewers. Not just me. I mean, yes, for me, it'll be good too, but for you, it will be excellent, okay? So I'm very pleased to be talking about this on pre-stream today. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk, folks. Let's, let's get through the necessary, uh, stuff that you guys want to know, the basics. First of all, what are we doing today? Here's the deal, folks. Here's what happened, Okay. Um, oh, hold on. I got another tip. Wow, I can't even finish my story because I keep getting tips. I got a tip from Kaisen. He's he giving me 20 bucks. He says, when's Persona? I missed your second stream last night because your second stream was like 4 a.m. for me. Uh, there was no second stream last night, Kaisen. You missed nothing. Last night, I was doing personal stuff. If you really want to know what I did, I got my car washed, and then I bought a shop vac, and I brought the car home, and I, I vacuumed my car, and then I cleaned it because we were bringing it in for pre-inspection on Monday. That was my night last night. Oh, yeah. And I paid a giant stack of bills. So it was a very uneventful night. You really don't need to be involved in that. Okay? Persona starting in a few minutes when I finish pre-stream. Okay. So let's continue. Um, here's what happened. During this transition period when I was leaving Machinima, and I was joining up with Curse, right? I was transitioning my channels over to Curse. Uh, I was vlogging about this constantly, you know. Um, I was contacted by a relatively new up-and-coming MCN on YouTube. What is that? It means it's a partnership company. A company that wants to get their, their feet uh, into, uh, into the, the mix of things. And they want to basically try to get some established YouTube channels under their wings. Now, the truth of the matter is a lot of YouTubers aren't like me. They're not transparent. They don't vlog about this kind of stuff. They keep it under wraps and behind the scenes. They feel that not sharing business information with their viewership is the best course of action. I've always been the opposite. I've been one of the most honest people on YouTube. When this stuff happens, okay, I'm very honest. And I talk about it publicly, okay? And, uh, you know, I try to make sure that everyone has information about what's going on with me. And when this whole fiasco with Machinima was going on, I did my best to kind of give you as much information as I could without violating my contract with Machinima, okay? So everyone knew that I was going to be leaving Machinima and going with a new company, and I didn't really reveal what it was going to be or whatever. I actually danced around the idea of three different companies, and I was in negotiations with a couple different companies, and eventually I ended up with Curse simply because Curse was very easy to migrate over to right away. There wasn't going to be any waiting time between when I left Machinima and I got my channels enabled with Curse, okay? And in addition, um, they had the same kind of... of uh, music and other offerings like Machinima did. Like, they actually worked with the same music company so I could use the same royalty-free music and all of that as I had when I worked with Machinima. So for me, it was very little work. It was basically unlink my, my channel with Machinima, link it with Curse, and then enable all the ads, and that's all it was, okay? Um, but the problem is Curse does not offer managed partnerships. And it's not that I didn't look into it, because I did. I did my research and I talked to them, I was like, listen, I really need a managed partnership. And they basically just said, no, we don't do it for anybody. It's not just you. We don't do it at all. Um, and it's kind of funny 
Because apparently some people have been trying to get managed partnership for years, and they keep being told by people that either it doesn't exist or you can't get it, which is completely false, by the way. It's just people lying to you. <laughs> it's people completely lying, all right? And it's actually one particular YouTuber I know who still swears that managed partnerships don't exist, despite the fact that I was in one for over three years, and now I'm going into another one. He swears they don't exist because no one's offered him one. <laughs> And it, he can't get into one. So, anyway. Um, during all this period of time when I was making all these vlogs back in February and explaining my situation to everyone, I was contacted by this, this new MCN. And this MCN said, we would like to recruit you. We, we're actually a fan of your work. We know who you are. We see that you've done a really long-running legacy of YouTube videos. And we also are aware of the situation with the negativity that you've got this group of people who follow you around on the internet and are negative assholes to you. We know all about that. And we're okay with it. And we see your situation right now going on with your partnership network. And we'd like to be competitive. We'd like to offer you something better than what Curse offers. Because everyone knows what Curse offers. Curse offers the same terms to everyone. They're actually... Uh, it's public. It's like well known what exactly you know, curse offers for everyone in their partnership contract. So they said, we're going to do you one better. We're going to, you know, do a little bit better in, in the revenue department, but also we're going to offer you a managed partnership, okay? Which is what you want, you know? that's so They figured that would be the incentive to get me, right? So I'll be honest, you know, I didn't want to jump into this right away. This was something that I mulled over for quite a while, all right? And I went back and forth with this company for about two months. Well, you know, we hashed out an agreement through via contract, and this company, even though they're they're relatively small compared with the other companies I've dealt with, they were very, you know, willing to work with me and talking back and forth. And uh, basically, I got exactly what I wanted um, out of this new agreement, okay? Now, this is the truth. It's taking a chance because this is a company that, you know, is a company that probably no one's even heard of. Because I never heard of them, and I actually said that to them. I said, you know, the one reason I'm really not jumping on the chance right away is because I've never heard of you guys. And they said, yeah, well, that's on purpose. We're kind of uh, start, we're starting up, and we're trying to recruit people into our network to start to have established channels that are going to be bringing in views and everything for our network. And you're one of the people that we figured we could recruit because you've been talking about you're now basically a free agent. You're not with Machinima anymore. So... All this stuff going on and negotiations behind the scenes. And boy, was it really, really hard for me not to mention it to you guys. Because you know I like to talk about this stuff publicly. And I, I did not purposely. Uh, everything is now in place. And the, the, the here's what's going to happen. Are you going to work? Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Yep. You know me. I'm always going to have so much fun. The, yeah, so uh, here's the deal, folks. This is all happening over the weekend. All right? So here's the deal. Tomorrow, I'm doing my Worst Games Ever Marathon here on Twitch. So, three games, whatever. I'm going to be recording all of that for YouTube, but I'm not going to upload it. Here's why. Because officially, as of Monday, I am going to be leaving my partnership with Curse. Okay? I'm leaving it. It's going to be delinked. So DSP Gaming and KO Gaming will be unlinked from Curse as of Monday. Then, this new network is going to link me into their network, all right? And as soon as I get linked into them, which you really shouldn't take that long, I'm going to enable all the advertisements again on all of my videos, because it's going to happen just like it did last time. All the ads are going to go away for a day, and then all the ads are going to come back. It's going to take about a day. It took actually around eight hours on DSP Gaming last time to have the ads get re-enabled. So the last thing I want to do is load up DSP Gaming with all these new videos from Sunday, and then all the ads immediately get turned off, and I make nothing on it, you know? And then, by the time the ads come back, everyone's already watched everything, alright? Now here's the thing. It's not really going to affect you at all, you guys. The only thing is there's going to be a delay where I'm not going to be uploading videos to DSP Gaming for about two days. But what I will do is this week I'll gradually space out the videos. Once the advertisements are re-enabled, I will then be spacing out the videos so that every day you'll get one or two batches of videos, including the videos from Sunday's Marathon, okay? Now, in addition, folks, um, now what was I going to say? Shit. I got distracted. I read the stream chat and it distracted me. Hold on.
No, nah, uh, maybe there was no in addition. I don't know why I said that. So that's the deal, folks. A new managed partnership coming up this week. Okay. Now, the truth of the matter is this is kind of risky. It's a company, again, a new up-and-coming company. And it is a risk to go with it. If it doesn't work out, I have protected myself contractually. I can get out of this contract with the company um, at any time. You know, it's, it's just pretty standard terms. I'm not going to go into it. But basically, uh, the best uh, contracts that you go into for partnership basically don't lock it in permanently. And actually, YouTube has now made it so that you can't do that anymore. You can't have one of these fucking contracts where, oh, you're stuck in perpetually from that, for now on. You can never leave. Doesn't It, it doesn't happen like that anymore. Okay. Um, and I've already spoken with Curse on this. I talked directly with Curse. And I said, listen... You guys have been good for two months. You've been awesome. The only reason I'm leaving you is because I got offered better terms and a managed partnership, which you said you don't offer. And, but I told them, listen, if things go bad with this company, I'd be more than willing to come back to Curse. And Curse has already told me, dude, we will take you back in a heartbeat. Not a big deal. Okay? Not a big deal at all. So, there you go. That's cool. And I'm happy about that. And we'll see what happens. So, yeah. So, that's the deal. Is that coming this Monday, you're probably going to notice none of my videos will have ads on them. So, for a day, I'm really not going to make any money. But there's nothing I can do about that. And uh, and then I'm going to, you know, be linking with this new company. And getting ads re-enabled on all my videos. It's going to be a process. It's going to take a while. But, you know, after a few hours. What I'm hoping, honestly, is that it happens overnight. Where maybe overnight, Curse will unlink my channels. So that Monday morning... I can get the channels linked with the new uh, partnership, and then I can have the, the ads start to enable right away. Worst case scenario, I'll have to do it later in the day because I'm going to be out on Monday. I'm actually going to be out doing a bunch of stuff. It's my day off. So worst case scenario, I'll do it overnight on Monday where I'll just have the ads uh, you know, go overnight and, and, and turn on on DSP Gaming and all of that, okay? <laughs> so there you go. That's the good news. Is Number one, Hate Live is returning. Um... This month, I don't know when yet, but it will be happening. It will be coming back. And number two, I am bringing my DSP Gaming and KO Gaming channels into a new managed partnership with a new company. And that will start, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, on Monday. Okay? What is up, everyone? Phil here with a vlog I had no intention of making. If you can believe it, YouTube yet again has completely screwed something up. Nothing to do with me doing anything wrong. Um, and it's screwing me over, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Again. It's now at the point that YouTube is screwing up so much on such a regular basis. I'm really feeling like I need to make an effort to take my YouTube slash internet presence for gaming and move it to Twitch. All right? I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. So please pay attention. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? YouTube did not disclose that not only do you need 10,000 views on your channel, you also need to have your YouTube channel approved for an AdSense account. Yes, a personal AdSense account. Regardless of the fact if you're going to use that AdSense account yourself to run ads or if you're going to partner with a network, YouTube is now requiring that you have an AdSense account associated with your channel to start before you can even get approval, okay? Then... 
if you have 10,000 views and you have an AdSense account on your YouTube channel that's associated with it and approved, then it goes to an approvals queue, which YouTube says can take up to a week for them to review. And once they've reviewed it and said, okay, we don't see anything bad on your channel that advertisers wouldn't want to be associated with, then you finally get the ability to run ads on your channel and or you finally get the ability to have your channel partnered with a new network. For example, Machinima, Curse, uh, what's the other one? Full screen, any of those networks, they all now have to have all this stuff done behind the scenes first before they can partner your channel. This is brand spanking new. Even the partnership network that I am now attempting to partner with didn't know anything about this. YouTube told no one. They just literally rolled it out and told no one. Again, yes, they've done this ever since I started on YouTube. They make changes without telling anyone about them, and we all have to figure it out for ourselves, okay? So, what is going on with me? Why is this bad? Why am I stuck with no ads on DSP Gaming or KO Gaming? Well, I was partnered with Curse Network. And they were running ads and everything was fine. YouTube made this new change behind the scenes, okay? Not telling anybody. And so, my new network said, okay, we'll disassociate your channels. Ask that Curse release DSP Gaming and KO Gaming from those channels so we can partner you and we're going to put you into managed partnerships. That's the reason I'm leaving Curse and I'm going to a new network. So I did that. Curse released me this morning. I went to go into the, to, to, you know, to my channel to say, okay, is it released? And it says, oh, you cannot get partnered with anyone. You cannot run ads until you do these criteria first. And I'm looking at it like, what? So I went to my new network and they confirmed. They said, yeah, we can't partner you. You have to do those new steps first. There's a whole checklist of steps you have to do to enable monetization before you can even be partnered with someone. <sighs> Basically, they won't give you help. So at this point, I wrote an email to this creator support email address. And I said, I explained the whole situation. And I said, what I need you to do because I can't do it, apparently, is disassociate this broken AdSense account that was de denied and associate DSP Gaming with the working AdSense account that KO Gaming is associated with. So we'll have two channels associated with the same account, which, by the way, will never be used because I'm trying to link the goddamn channels to a, a partner network. So as soon as that happens, they're going to be delinked anyway, and none of this matters. <clears throat> Am I expecting to get any kind of an intelligent answer or help? No, I'm not. I am screwed, everyone. I don't know what to do because I don't know if YouTube's going to be able to fix this. I don't know if my new partnership network is going to be able to have contacts within YouTube that are going to be able to fix this. It seems to me YouTube implemented a completely new system to review channels for monetization approval because they got in so much hot water from Walmart and Starbucks leaving because they were giving ads to anyone. They were giving ads to terrorists and racists and everything. But sadly... I have no control over this. It's all in the hands of YouTube, and we all know, already know they're inept at what they do. They don't know how to handle these situations, and chances are I'm not going to get any satisfactory answer from the customer support line, and I don't know if my new partnership network is going to be able to help me with this issue. It seems like a technical oversight that they completely botched because they are, again, I said this a million times, they are book smart, not street smart. They were great. They wrote the code for the new process, right? Another algorithm, another code. Have an AdSense account associated with it. Have a, a, a process to review the channel. A new page with all this information that's required to get into the review process. But then no one fucking tested it to see what would happen if something went wrong or someone got declined for an AdSense. Now you can't disassociate it. So, folks, it's not looking good. It's just not looking good in regards to DSP Gaming, and I don't know what to do. I'm actually, I'm, again, I'm in panic mode, but... I've already got one day in May. I've made no revenue on YouTube because of this. How many more days is it going to be? Is it, you know what I mean? If I get KO Gaming back, like let's say KO Gaming, it gets approved and then I can put it into this new, you know, partnership and it was managed partnership. Do I start uploading gameplay videos there? So at least I can make some money. The problem is I know I don't get any of that viewership for raw gameplay videos on KO Gaming. That might make people unsubscribe from KO Gaming because they only subscribe there to see the edited style videos, right? And now they're unsubbed and that could destroy the channel. Plus, I know, like I said, I'm not going to get that mainstream viewership on DSP Gaming that I get for those those videos. I'm not going to get that right away on KO Gaming. People aren't going to migrate over right away. They're going to be like, I don't understand. And a lot of people don't even pay attention. They'll come back months later. What happened here and think that I'm dead because I didn't upload any video. It's, I didn't make a new process to get you a switch from one MCN to another that makes you have AdSense associated, associated with your account and then make it you can't ever unlink a, a declined AdSense from your account. You know what I mean? Like, whoa play the victim that's not the case i need your help to keep going i want to keep making videos i want to keep doing stream if anything like i said if now i'm on a high because everything i'm playing people are showing up and enjoying it so much and people are getting pumped for my stuff and now this happens it's I... so please be patient 
I will keep everyone in the know on what's going on with DSP Gaming and KO Gaming. Like I said, worst case, if KO Gaming gets approved, I might just have to start putting all my gameplay on that channel and DSP Gaming dies and becomes an archive channel just like Darkside Phil did. I know that's ridiculous, but that may be what has to happen at this point. I don't know what else to fucking do. Um... And whatever you can do to support, whether it's, you know, Teespring, whether it's tw on Twitch, subbing, cheering, tipping, whatever you can do, being there for the streams on Twitch, all that helps, okay? And that's all I can say right now. So I'm sorry, everyone. I want to have good news for you, and I keep getting fucking screwed by YouTube. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I'll have more info as the week progresses. I hope to see all of you on stream tomorrow for two streams, which I wasn't planning on. It'll be two stream day now. Thank you, and more info forthcoming. Oh my goodness, everybody. What a, uh, ugh, what a night. What a morning. I'm already shot. <laughs> we haven't even started with gameplay, anybody, and I'm already shot. I got a lot to talk about today um, <clears throat> on the pre-stream, but I'm already super late because of all the stuff that's been going on this morning. Um, yeah, I got a lot to talk about. So allow me to begin. Welcome, everyone. Today is Thursday, May 4th. 2017 how are you doing hopefully the answer to that question is you are doing well and you are ready for a fun day full of streaming because i am ready so as you guys and gals know if you've been following along this week has been tumultuous for me because uh i was switching partner networks you know for the the promise of more money and moving eventually to a managed status partnership which makes a lot of sense the problem is when i went to Switch Partner Networks, YouTube decided to flip the switch earlier this week on a new method by which you get approved for advertisements. Now, this method is incredibly stupid, alright, incredibly stupid, because this method forces you to get a personal AdSense account on your YouTube channel and associate it with that channel before you can actually get your channel partnered with a partner network. Now, it doesn't make sense because for those who aren't aware... When you are with a partner network, that network runs ads on your videos, and they keep a cut of the ad revenue, and you keep a cut of the ad revenue in, you know, for, for the fact that you get something out of it. Whether it's you get protection from copyright, whether they help you with different issues with your channel, whether they provide royalty-free music, whatever it may be, because all partner networks are different, okay? But that's how it works. So it makes no sense that YouTube would require you to have a personal AdSense account for your YouTube channel if you have no intention of ever running your own ads on that channel and making money. It's just stupid. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's really dumb. Okay? Now, that being said, I went to Switch Partner Networks earlier this week and YouTube blocked me with this new process saying, no, you need to do these steps. You need to accept a, terms of a, uh, a new terms of service. You need to sign up for an AdSense account. And then your channel has to go under review... And once it passes a review, then we'll approve you for monetization. All right. So, as you know, I have two YouTube channels. So I applied for this new AdSense account for both YouTube channels. KO Gaming was approved almost instantly. It only took a couple hours. DSP Gaming was denied on the grounds that I just made one for KO Gaming. And therefore, I already have a valid AdSense account and you can't own two. Makes no sense, right? Why did YouTube force me to sign up for a new AdSense account on both channels if you can only have one? That's an oversight. That's a major oversight of their new process, okay? Um, so, when I got denied on DSP Gaming, I went into the channel, and I, there's an option that says, if you, you know, if you want to link to an existing account, click here. Put in all of the info and everything, okay? So, I put it in there, and I link it, and it says, okay, account is under review, Good job. Thanks for putting in all the info. You know, I put in the info for the, the AdSense account that I knew was working because it was linked to KO Gaming. Um, I got denied. It says, no, you can't. You still can't do it because this AdSense account's invalid. I said, how could it be invalid? It's lo it's working right now on KO Gaming. So I go into this, the, the, the channel statistics and come to find out, even though I put all the information in to link DSP Gaming to this working AdSense account, YouTube will not disassociate DSP Gaming from the broken one. There's no way to do it. It just, it's a broken process. They coded the site wrong. 
So it's literally a coding error, which, by the way, that's what YouTube employees are supposed to be good at, right? They write these algorithms and these codes, and they're supposed to be such great brainiacs and geniuses when it comes to this stuff. They only hire the best, right? Uh, but they have a stupid site error that's so dumb, and it's such a big oversight, and it's going to be a huge problem for anyone now who's trying to apply for monetization, and if their AdSense doesn't go through, they're screwed. They can never advertise their channel. Okay? It's bullshit. So... I contacted YouTube through the creator support email. This was Tuesday. No, actually, I take it back. This was Monday. Monday night, I wrote a creator support email. All right. So, I waited a day, got a response that YouTube wanted more information. Please explain what's going on. I did. I provided all of the information. I provided the numbers of the two AdSense accounts, the one that works, the one that didn't. And I requested that they link the working AdSense account to DSP Gaming because I can't do it. There's no way to do it. It's not working. The process is broken. In the meantime, I again attempted to try to relink this, you know, <clears throat> AdSense account to my YouTube channel. And basically, the channel moved into what's called the review process. So as of Tuesday, the channel was showing, oh, it's in review. Okay. So I'm thinking, oh, YouTube's going to look at all the videos and see if they're ad worthy or not. And then they're going to approve or deny me. Well, Tuesday night, I got an email back from YouTube again. Yes, this is the case. This is all, The channel is in review and everything is fine. No worries. There's no reason to panic. Everything is good. You know, you'll have a determination shortly. Please be patient. Okay, so yesterday, uh, the good news was yesterday, KO Gaming got approved. KO Gaming got approved for advertisements. Therefore, I enabled advertisements on the entire channel. You know, new partner network linked to the channel. Everything good. Everything working good with KO Gaming. But DSP Gaming still lingering. And I'm like, why is this not working, right? It's, I don't get it. Why is it still not being approved? DSP Gaming, you know, what's the holdup? YouTube wrote me back again saying, no worries, or it's still in the review process, you just have to be patient, blah, 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 okay? Okay, so, you know, you got, you're thinking, I should believe YouTube, right? I should believe them, because they know what they're talking about, they work for the company. They, I should listen to them, because they're the ones who work there, right? Great. So, last night, in the middle of the night, I get an update, I'm, sl I'm sleeping, I get an update, oh, guess what? DSP Gaming denied advertisement. Denied. What? So I look it up. Why is it denied? Is it because it's advertiser unfriendly and because the channel's been deemed like, you know, an, an adult-only channel? No. It's because you don't have a valid AdSense account linked to this channel. And I facepalmed the hardest fucking facepalm I've ever done in my life. They are retarded. Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube is stupid. And I'm tired of it. They are the dumbest motherfuckers. And I will say that to the day I die. In the eight years that I've been doing YouTube videos, not once have I seen any evidence of intelligence. And I wish that I was exaggerating. But basically, everything that I figured was going on was true. It's an automated process. The process is broken. The channel will not actually be reviewed for advertisements unless there's a valid AdSense account linked to it. For two days, I asked YouTube's creator support to link a valid AdSense account to it, and they ignored my request, instead assuring me that the channel was fine and would be, you know, reviewed shortly. They lied. They did not check on anything. They basically just looked at the channel and said, well, I'll throw my hands up and say that it's working, even though I really have no clue, and it's a joke. This reminds me of two months ago, okay, Two months ago, when I was uploading my Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough, a few of the videos were getting flagged as advertiser unfriendly. And for two days, I asked the YouTube creator support email, what is going on and why is this happening? What is the criteria by which videos get flagged as advertiser unfriendly? And basically, they sent me the fact. The fact that gives you the reasons. And I said, yeah, but this video has none of those reasons, so why is it getting flagged? And they blew me off and never responded. It's the same thing. They're terrible. All right? It's absolutely awful. Um, they suck. They have no actual customer support. This creator support line is a joke. It's apparent the people they employ for this creator support line have no knowledge of anything. And they're just told to basically shove off people and not give them valid answers. Um, I'm pissed. So, last night, I'm furious. Now, it's the middle of the night. 
I'm furious. I'm like, this is bullshit. I haven't had ads on DSP Gaming for three days. I've lost, at this point now, yes, now, I've lost hundreds of dollars in revenue, okay? Because for three days, I've had no advertisements on DSP Gaming. No video is earning any money. And I haven't uploaded any new videos. That's the other thing. Because I wasn't able to put advertisements on my videos, I didn't upload any new videos. So, not only am I losing money, I'm not progressing with any of my new stuff on YouTube. And I'm sure viewers are getting angry, you know? I'm sure the viewers are getting super pissed at this situation, okay? So... Luckily, and I have to give a, a massive shout out this morning. Longtime fan and viewer Jelsey. He's actually been a, a stream chat mod. He's been a forum mod. He's done a lot of things for me over the years. And whenever something like this happens, he usually looks out for me and he tries to find ways to help me. He scoured the fucking internet trying to find a solution to this problem. The fact that this AdSense account that's linked to DSP Gaming is broken and not working and I can't link a new one, Okay. Get this, get, figure this out. Or not figure this out, listen up, is what I meant to say. S sorry, I'm a little frazzled, I'm a little tired today because of all this going on in the middle of the night. He found an article, not even an article, a forum post. He found a forum post on Google. On Google, not even on YouTube, on Google forums. Of someone who was trying to link their AdSense account to a website and it didn't work and the AdSense got declined. And then they could never disassociate that AdSense from their website. It was the same exact situation that I was in, and this person wanted to associate this AdSense with a YouTube channel, okay? Basically, um, last night I do all this, it, it, the whole process is so complicated, right? It works, and now it says DSP Gaming is associated with the working AdSense account that KO Gaming is associated to, okay? I'm like, holy shit, it worked, I can't believe it. And I, then, I, I, then I look, and the status is updated on DSP Gaming. It says, it is now, you know, in the review process again. I said, well, now everything's looking good. This is exactly what it looked like on KO Gaming. And within just a couple hours of KO Gaming getting its AdSense account approved, it was approved for monetization. So I think we're in the, in the good here. I think we're in the clear, right? Um... Yes, Ponage, you're right. Ponage101 says, See, Phil, I replied to one of your tweets saying, Do you honestly believe what YouTube is saying to you? And you're right, I shouldn't have. I should have just fucking completely ignored everything that they said. In fact, you know what? I should just delete the creator support email from my contacts and never send them another email. Because YouTube doesn't actually help. Ever. Not once ever in the history of me contacting YouTube for an issue have they given me any kind of valid help whatsoever. Even when I was getting false copyright strikes against DSP Gaming and I contacted them, they told me, oh, well, we're just going to leave it there for two weeks anyway because legally we want to protect our own ass. So just in case, by some freak chance, one of these obviously false copyright strikes ends up being real and we get sued, we won't be legally liable. So we're going to leave those strikes on your channel for two weeks despite the fact that we have evidence that they're fake. This is what YouTube told me. And that was in 2015. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is a joke. The, the, they are terrible. They're one of the worst businesses I've ever dealt with. And I've dealt with many, many businesses over the years. In particular, when I had my office job, I worked with millions of them. I mean, every day I was dealing with hundreds of businesses on the phone, through email. YouTube is the most unprofessional of any business I've ever dealt with. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. And they don't want to admit fault. And they have this elitist attitude. And they never help. This is ridiculous, man. <laughs> so, guess what, folks? Woke up this morning expecting to just jump here right on the stream, get you know, get started with Persona 5 for you. DSP Gaming was approved for monetization because now it's linked to the valid AdSense account and everything is good. So as of right now, in fact, okay, as of right now, I am mass enabling ads on DSP Gaming. I expect this should be done shortly. It looks like the process is actually going really good. Okay, it's going quickly. It's actually going way more quickly than last time. And I don't know why, because last time I did this, it took some seven to eight hours. And now it seems to be going like in a half hour, it might be completed. I don't know what the, what the difference is this time around. I have no idea. Okay, um, so the good news is... There will be ads on DSP Gaming, and starting tonight, I will be beginning to upload the DSP Gaming again, daily. It's back to normal, okay? However, it's not linked to my network. There's a lot of stuff to work out. Right now, basically, all the ads that are on DSP Gaming are, are ads that for AdSense, a regular AdSense account, 
Um, I got a lot of stuff to hash out. I'm not going to tell you any of the behind-the-scenes stuff going on right now because you don't need to know it. And listen, I, I, well, I understand that you guys and gals are very interested in what's going on with me and this new network and everything. I get that. But understand that I can't necessarily disclose every little piece of information that you'd like. Okay. And by the way, thanks Jackson Hero. did a 20-bit cheer. He said, yay, stuff is working again. Thank you, Jackson Hero. Um, yeah, I would love to give you full details on everything. I can't. All right. I will, I will give you information, all right, when I have it. I'll give you information when I have it. Um, but I don't have it yet, okay? Uh, I hope to have more information for you soon. I hope to have more information uh, with, you know, what's going on with everything. But I, 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 I d can't jump the gun, all right? I can't. Right now, things, at least right now, DSP Gaming is working. It's got ads. And I'm making money on it. That's all I can say. And once I hash everything else out behind the scenes and everything, I'll let you know, okay? But for now, I would appreciate it if everyone would refrain from baseless speculation. I see a lot of people making stuff up completely and saying negative stuff, and it's all messed up. And just because I didn't come out and say a bunch of stuff doesn't mean anything is true or untrue, you know? I'd appreciate it if everyone would just kind of relax. From now on, you know, for at least moving forward as of today, it's business as usual. What are these idiots doing in the street chat talking about drama and shit? Guys, relax. Stop being so dramatic in the stream chat about stuff. I see people talking about, oh, Phil's with the new network. Did you know this is the name of the network? And the network's a scam and this is that. What are you talking about? How do you know a network is a fucking scam? What the? You don't know what you're talking about. People are being such babies. Stop being like five years old and causing drama in the stream chat. We're here to play a game and have fun. We're not here to be all dramatic about uh, the new MCN that I'm with on YouTube. Seriously. People are being so fucking ridiculous in the stream chat. <laughs> First of all, anyone can find out any who, uh, what network you're partnered with. It's public knowledge. It's listed in the metadata of a YouTube page. So it's not like I'm trying to hide what network I'm with or whatever. Um... It doesn't matter what network I'm with. That's behind the scenes info that no one needs to know. People are being so silly about this. About the, why on earth would you be talking about the network like, oh, Phil's partnered with this network and I never heard of it. It must be a scam. What? You know, they're gonna, what if they renege on their contract? What if anyone reneges on their contract? Machinima could have reneged. Uh, Curse could have reneged. And I would have had to take him to court. That's, what it, that's how it works. So just stop it and relax. Seriously. People being ridiculous. Being all, but he's like, oh, we want to start rumors and shit. Like, no, I'm not gonna have that shit. So I'll be honest, you know, I didn't want to jump into this right away. This was something that I mulled over for quite a while, all right? And I went back and forth with this company for about two months. Well, you know, we hashed out an agreement through via contract. And this company, even though they're they're relatively small compared with the other companies I've dealt with, they were very, you know, willing to work with me and talking back and forth. And uh, basically, I got exactly what I wanted um, out of this new agreement. Okay, now this is the truth. It's taking a chance because this is a company that, you know, is a company that probably no one's even heard of because I never heard of them. And I actually said that to them. I said, you know, the one reason I'm really not jumping on the chance right away is because I've never heard of you guys. And they said, yeah, well, that's on purpose. We're kind of uh, start we're starting up and we're trying to recruit people into our network 
to start to have established channels that are going to be bringing in views and everything for our network. And you're one of the people that we figured we could recruit because you've been talking about you're now basically a free agent. You're not with Machinima anymore. So all this stuff going on and negotiations behind the scenes. And boy, was it really, really hard for me not to mention it to you guys because, you know, I like to talk about this stuff publicly and I, I did not purposely. Uh, everything is now in place. And the, the, the here's what's going to happen. Okay. Now... The truth of the matter is, this is kind of risky. It's a company, again, a new up-and-coming company. And it is a risk to go with it. If it doesn't work out, I have protected myself contractually. I can get out of this contract with the company. What is up everyone? Darkside Phil here and welcome to the weekend preview. Tonight is Sunday, May 7th, 2017. We've got a fun week ahead where we're going to be continuing on with ongoing game playthroughs. Um, some games that have kind of been in and on and off are going to be regularly returning to this schedule, which is great. Um, the possibility of maybe some new stuff later this week, okay? And everything is back to normal this week. And what I mean by that is if you didn't notice this last this video, two quick things that kind of coincide with each other, all right? Number one, I want to say, folks, please understand that I'm a very honest person. I've been one of the most honest people on YouTube. I tell you almost everything going on behind the scenes business-wise that I can. I tell you about when I'm doing good, when I'm doing bad. I tell you about everything, right? Um, this past week... I was amidst getting released from my my, uh, my partnership with the Curse Network and trying to get my channels uh, monetized for YouTube so that I could try something different out, okay? And I was also in the midst of some contract negotiations and talking with multiple MCM networks to see if anyone could give me something better than what I had already had in the past. Like, could I get back into a managed partnership? Or could I get into a partnership that would pay me more than what Curse was paying me? And I was working through all this this week, and all during that time period, I was trying to get released from Curse, which I did, but then I got wrapped up in this whole rigmarole where I couldn't put ads on my videos because YouTube wanted me to get a personal AdSense before I could even consider having a partnership network partner me. So, all that happened, and then midweek, I kind of just didn't really give you much more information because guess what? Behind the scenes, things weren't settled. I hadn't agreed on anything yet. I hadn't officially gone with anyone yet. I hadn't 100% uh, decided on anything, and the bottom line is there were a, 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 there was a couple networks that were promising me these things but they wouldn't give me like a concrete answer like we're going to give you a managed partnership okay when oh don't worry about that just go with us now and you'll eventually get it i'm like wait but no you know that's not right you got to tell me by when i'm 35 years old i'm not some teenager who just sees a contract and says wow this is amazing i'm gonna sign my life away i want to know definitively what's going on and promise me dates and promise me everything and honestly, I couldn't find anyone who would do that. I had people promising me the world, but no one who would actually, in writing, commit to any of the things that they were saying, meaning it was probably bullshit. So, after a week of negotiating and going through all this crap with, all, with, with people, by the end of the week, I decided that's it. I'm just going to monetize on my own, and I have my own AdSense account linked to my YouTube channels, and that's where we are right now. And that's why there's ads on my videos again. And what I want to see, I want to play it by ear. And I want to see, gee, if I just have these channels monetized under myself, will I make as much money as, for example, when I was with Curse? Or could it be that maybe Curse, their network is getting better ads than the common person who has AdSense? I don't know. Because I've never done that before. When I started on YouTube putting ads on my videos, you couldn't monetize gameplay videos in 2011. You couldn't. You would try it and YouTube would deny it. Right now, uh, now everyone can monetize vi gameplay videos. For years now, it's been a thing where you can do it. Everyone, I was contacted by this this new MCN, and this MCN said we would like to recruit you. We're gonna do you one better. We're gonna you know do a little bit better in, in the revenue department, but also we're gonna offer you a managed partnership. Okay, which is what you want. You know that's so they figured that would be the incentive to get me right. So I'll be honest. You know I didn't want to jump into this right away. This was something that I mulled over for quite a while. All right, and I went back and forth with this company for about two months. Well, you know, we hashed out an agreement through via contract and this company, even though they're, they're relatively small compared with the other companies I've dealt with, they were very, you know, willing to work with me and talking back and forth. And, uh, basically I got exactly what I wanted, um, out of 
this new agreement, okay? I went to Switch Partner Network earlier this week and YouTube blocked me with this new process saying, no, you need to do these steps. You need to accept the terms of a, uh, a new terms of service. You need to sign up for an AdSense account. And then your channel has to go under review. And once it passes a review, then we'll approve you for monetization. All right. So this is kind of a, a tentative time and it's an experiment for me. I don't know how this is going to go. This could go well. We're wow. You know, any network that I had was taking a cut, but look, I'm making just as much, so what was the point, right? Or it could be, oh, wow, look at that. The ad revenue is actually much lower when you have your personal MCN. I should go sign with someone again. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of playing it by ear for the next couple of weeks, and I want to see how much I bring in. What I will say is this. Next couple of weeks are going to be very tight and very tentative for me because I don't know what's going to happen with this experiment I'm doing. Anything you do, you, you watch the videos on YouTube, great. Please do Turn off your ad blocker. I got to ask you to do it because at this point, it's the only way that I'm able to pay my bills at this point is with a combination of ad revenue from YouTube, what I'm making on Twitch, Patreon, everything combined, Teespring, everything. And if any one of those things goes away or falls apart, this whole thing could fall apart and I can't keep doing it. So please, if you're watching my videos on YouTube, you're not watching the live streams, please leave your ad blockers off and please, you know... Just continue to watch. I can't really ask for much else, all right? I know that you guys are being very patient. The fact that I changed my video style the past couple of months, the fact that the videos are shorter now, I get it. I know that it's a change and there's a transition. I know some people are having a hard time getting used to it. We're, you know, we're, it, we're, it's working out though. As long as I, that's what I mean. If we can see what happens these next couple of weeks, maybe we'll be good to go and I don't ever have to mention this shit ever again. But let's see, okay? Now, the other half of what I'm talking about here. Misinformation, gossip, and how people get so caught up in it and they believe it and just because I don't immediately come out and give you information about something doesn't mean that that what other people are saying is true. In particular this week there was tons of misinformation, speculation, and just outright lies that I was partnered with certain networks and that I was going to do this and that this network was a scam and that this had happened and that had happened and in reality... None of it happened. Ladies and gentlemen, DSP Gaming and KO Gaming are not partnered with any MCN. Anyone can find out any who, what network you're partnered with. It's public knowledge. It's listed in the metadata of a YouTube page. So it's not like I'm trying to hide what network I'm with or whatever. Um... All the information that you've been told by other people is all bullshit. But you, uh, so many people bought into it. I just couldn't believe it. There are people coming into the stream chat, regulars. Wow, did you hear that Phil's this and this? I'm like, what? No, no, I have not said any of this. The bottom line is, if I want to share information with you, I will. If I can share information with you, I will. But if I'm in the midst of contract negotiations and stuff with companies, I'm not going to tell everyone that because that's private issue. That's private matters that should not be made public, okay? So... That's why this week I couldn't tell you what was going on behind the scenes until it was all kind of decided by the end of the week. And now it finally is, and now I can come out and tell you. But you got to be patient and stop buying into the tremendous amount of bullshit and just misinformation and lies that people will spread for drama purposes so they get attention. In particular, there was this podcast that happened this week that literally they had guests on that had nothing to fucking do with anything. <laughs> It was all bullshit and fluff. It was completely wrong. And people say, oh, but Phil, didn't you know that Social Blade has all this information? Social Blade is always wrong. I've said this like a million times. Social Blade is almost always wrong. Social Blade still says that DSP Gaming is partnered with Curps. I'm not going to upload it. Here's why. Because officially as of Monday, I am going to be leaving my partnership with Curse. Okay? I'm leaving it. It's going to be delinked. So DSP Gaming and KO Gaming will be unlinked from Curse as of Monday. Then this new network is going to link me into their network, all right? And as soon as I get linked into them, which you really shouldn't take that long, I'm going to enable all the advertisements again on all of my videos. So as you know, I have two YouTube channels. So I applied for this new AdSense account for both YouTube channels. KO Gaming was approved almost instantly. It only took a couple hours. DSP Gaming was denied. 
on the grounds that I just made one for KO Gaming, and therefore, I already have a valid AdSense account, and you can't own two. Makes no sense, right? I haven't been partnered with Curse for a week now! So how are you going to tell me Social Blade is correct? It's bullshit. It's all wrong. It always is wrong. So people getting all, oh, I got the inside scoop on Phil. We're going to get all the complete nonsense. And I would ask, please, if you want to know what's really going on, ask me directly. I will tell you. Or if I can't, I'll tell you. I can't tell you, but I'll let you know when. Anything else you hear is bullshit. And people all the time buy into this because it's like the TMZ of the internet. We need the drama. We need to get caught up in all this. Because Phil's usually honest and he wasn't telling us 100% of the information this week. Now let's fa let's speculate and fabricate and blah, 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 blah. It's stupid. It's a waste of your time. And really, anyone who did get caught up in all the bullshit this week, you literally wasted all of that time and got all worked up about nothing. People getting all worked up in a tizzy, and I got people tweeting me nasty shit and insults. Oh, <laughs> you did this, you did that. And it's all false. It's all bullshit. I'm like, what a bunch of dumb fucks. Like, how can you be so gullible that you get this group of people continuously lie and fabricate and get half information or misinformation and you still believe it. It just blows my mind that these people are just, they will believe anything to get a rise or to get a laugh or to spread drama. If you don't hear it from me, it ain't fucking true. That's the bottom line, all right? So the truth of the matter is, let's see what happens in the next couple of weeks. If I decide, uh, you know, well, look at this. It looks like it's worse or better or whatever. Then I'll make my decision on what I'm going to do for the future. But right now, everything is back to normal on YouTube. The uploads are back to normal on YouTube. Everything's back to normal, and that's all you need to know. If you're a viewer of my videos and my content and my um, my gameplay and my reviews, all you need to know about is, is Phil uploading and what is he uploading? You don't need to know about who I'm partnered with or when I'm partnered with or any of that shit. The only reason you even knew about it this past week is because I couldn't upload for four days because I couldn't put ads on my videos, right? So don't get caught up in that shit. It's, that, is the, that is a trap. That is a little kitty immature teenage drama gossipy trap of that like i said the tmz of the internet and i don't deal with that shit i tell you the facts how it is when they're available so that's why you didn't hear anything this week until the facts were available so i'm now laying it down here's the facts okay all right everyone that is it for the week in preview okay i hope you enjoyed it you found it informative Anyone can find out any who, what network you're partnered with. It's public knowledge. It's listed in the metadata of a YouTube page. So it's not like I'm trying to hide what network I'm with or whatever. Um. Anyone can find out any who that, what network you're partnered with. It's public knowledge. It's listed in the metadata of the YouTube I'm not going to upload it. Here's why. Because officially as of Monday, I am going to be leaving my partnership with Curse. Okay? I'm leaving it. It's going to be delinked. So DSP Gaming and KO Gaming will be unlinked from Curse as of Monday. Then this new network is going to link me into their network. All right? And as soon as I get linked into them, which you really shouldn't take that long... I'm going to enable all the advertisements again on all of my videos. because. So, as you know, I have two YouTube channels. So I applied for this new AdSense account for both YouTube channels. KO Gaming was approved almost instantly. It only took a couple hours. DSP Gaming was denied on the grounds that I just made one for KO Gaming, and therefore I already have a valid AdSense account, and you can't own two. Makes no sense, right? Why did YouTube force me to sign up for a new AdSense account on both channels if you can only have one? That's an oversight. That's a major oversight of their new process, okay? Um, so, when I got denied on DSP Gaming, 
I went into the channel and I there's an option that says if you, you know if you want to link to an existing account, click here, put in all of the info and everything. Okay. So I put it in there and I link it and it says, okay, account is under review. Good job. Thanks for putting in all the info. You know, I put in the info for the, the AdSense account that I knew was working because it was linked to KO Gaming. Um I got denied. It says, no, you can't, you still can't do it because this AdSense account's invalid. I said, how could it be invalid? It's, it's working right now on KO Gaming.